what does that do to their relationship with um, people they're attracted with, um, connecting with folks? Um, I, I think that in general, we see the internet is a, is a form of separation. Many of us, when we've worked in addictions for a long time, we talk about arrested development. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, the time that you start using a drug right. and using it heavily is kind of like the time of your development that you're stuck in. Yeah. So if you started when you were 15, then you, in a lot of ways, you maybe have a 15 year old level of maturation right. emotionally. Yeah. And so then you're kind of stuck there. And I think that that's, that's maybe one uh, good way to sort of view some of this, the degree that you're sort of inundated with porn is you're spending time doing that and you're not learning how to negotiate relationships with people right. there's a there's 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 so there's a loss there yeah. where you know if, if you were in another time then you'd have to learn how to do that learn how to ask yeah. someone out for the the prom or whatever it is that you know you 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 know these these yeah. stages that you go through so i i think there's something definitely there um but you know i know people who have you know they they do porn and they have relationships but it has uh, in in many ways, uh, uh, a negative relation, uh, a negative um, impact on their relation. Uh, so mm -hmm. many times, the people who come to see me, and yes, they're mostly men. Um, you know, they're concerned because they're not feeling. They have this um, with a porn. It gets you know, it escalates. There's this sort right. of like visual thing, and then so when they're actually with someone, it's um, it, it's it, it's not as it doesn't stimulate them the same way. So they get habituated. That part of their brain gets habituated to a certain thing. And they literally have to learn from scratch um, to remove themselves from one thing into another. I work more with women. So what I see from that is more the, the feeling of shame and not good enough and not being desirable from that side. Yeah, which is hard. Yeah. It's hard for everybody. It's hard. I think for men, it, it can come out in issues around, per, quote, performance, um, right? Air quotes. So, you know, it's like if they're looking at porn, then they, they feel like they can. And if they're with somebody and it doesn't look like the porn, then it becomes an issue. So then they can have um, low self-esteem around uh, in that way. Uh, uh, but not usually about like you may probably what you're referring to as body image because the beautiful women and they have, they have to look a certain way. and so. By right. comparison, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and real women aren't porn stars, you know. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> not what we are. <laughs> Even porn stars are not porn stars. They exactly. <laughs> they do all kinds of things digitally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah. Welcome to the 2021 Radical Recovery Summit, presented by the Killaby Center for Recovery. This is Lynn Fraser, your moderator. This year, our theme is Feel It, Heal It a new paradigm of recovery, featuring a diverse group of thought leaders and innovators, people who are working on the ground in the new field of addiction recovery. Go to RadicalRecoverySummit.com to sign up and watch free.